Hi, all of you beautiful people. <laughs> hey. I'm going to be real with, I'm going to be, of course, as we always do, I'm going to be really, really real about what is going on. I've gotten so many amazing messages and stuff because I had a whole moment, but we're not going to let anybody win, right? We're going to win. Who's going to win? We're gonna win. We already won. <laughs> we just ain't got there yet. We're Let's on see. the road. <clears throat> uh, grandma's good. We are okay. We are surrounded with 90s angels. And they're really angels because they had to catch me. They caught me. It was amazing. Like in the middle of the night they came back with stuff because I lost my shit. And I'm gonna tell you what happened, but I'm gonna show you all the goodies I got. If you've been in the Telegram, you're gonna understand why these mean so much. They mean so much anyways, but I got so many. You guys know I love stuffies. I'm addicted, I'm, I'm really addicted because I could never have stuffies or anything of my own really when I was in life and in foster care. I lived out of a trash bag. So I love stuffies beyond loving stuffies like it kind of gets a little bit uh <laughs> ridiculous back home because uh i had to pack some of my stuffies up because there was nowhere to put them and i didn't want to suffocate them or anything but i had to i had to put them somewhere because there was nowhere else to put them and mom wouldn't let me put them in her space so <laughs> they are she already had stuffies hanging from the ceiling so i i love my stuffies and i had a really harsh I don't know just everything I'm gonna tell you it just the last few days there was um, we having to apologize to Candace Owens and Sidney Powell because of um, misinformation um, we've gotten harassed more because uh, we were put on a radar that we were not on. I do not go on any of my platforms and boast about these people. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you would just have to go back. I'm not gonna give them the satisfaction of saying their names on this camera on my platform again while everybody loves to just try to use my platform for them. But uh, we were put on that radar. Uh, it was a mess. It really was a mess and I, no lie, I mean, who wouldn't? Got a little freaked out. Um, guys, none of this, like, I'm, I'm about to talk to you like we're sitting right here right now because I had to do this yesterday with some of the angels and they were like, what is wrong with you? I swear to you, I was ready to take somebody's fucking head off. Like, I swear to you, I was ready to give up. I was just like, you know what? Heaven don't sound so bad. <laughs> <laughs> there is a farm and a lot of chickens that I Frankie and Giblet with you know it doesn't sound like I was I was at that point um I was I've been having nightmares flashbacks to the point where my lip is still kind of swollen because I don't know if I bit my lip but I have ab reactions sometimes for my nightmares That's so bad. ab reactions I didn't even know what they were called at first I didn't even know it was a thing um, until my mom told me. <clears throat> Ab reaction is, so say three years ago, somebody beat the holy hell out of you, punched you in the face, your lip was bleeding, all that. Three years later, you might have a flashback of that same event and your body will relive all of that like in real time. So um, there's been times, well, I've seen some shit, but there's been times that Allie's woke up uh, with handprint on her face or, or welts on her face from being hit from a flashback that happened years ago so um that's kind of the things that have been happening the last couple of days she's been having a lot of really vivid and graphic flashbacks um yeah. some of the 90s angels superheroes were there um, i've been caught by so many angels before my mom has to catch me because back home i had moved my bed in front of the window like a smart one not knowing my nightmares were so bad and i've almost thrown myself out of the window trying to wake up um when you, you 
for Allie, I can't wake her up out of a flashback. Like I've tried everything. I've put ice in her hand. I've I've done like everything to kind of like snap her out of that. It kind of just has to run its course. Um, but when it ends for about 10 or 15 minutes, she's kind of still in that state. She doesn't know where she is. She doesn't she still think she's in the flashback. Um, she's jumped back so far sometimes. She's almost went out the window. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> there was a time when so up swinging. <laughs> the, the first couple of years Allie came, she would still put the, the boxes and stuff in front of the door at, every night um, so she could hear if somebody came in on her and, and things like that. Well, then after she realized she was in a safe place, when I say that when you when a survivor gets out of trafficking, worse shit starts for them. So she kind of transitioned from that fight or flight mode of having to be on guard and, and hyper vigilant. So her guard started to drop <clears throat> and when that happened then all these flashbacks and all these things happened for about two years like every night for for years she like from nine o'clock at night till six o'clock in the morning is just back to back flashbacks of things um so yeah um but but that's kind of doesn't happen so much anymore but it started happening a few nights ago um yeah so, so yeah i mean like I said, my mom has caught me. Angels have caught me, held me. Um, and I, I can't thank you guys enough for that. Um, I never used to like to go to anything where it involves sleeping because, you know, when I'm awake, we have to deal with all this. But sometimes I feel like I get trapped in my own flashbacks. So sleeping is not usually the best thing either. Love from Serbia. I have no idea how my story got that far. But every time y'all say that, you freak me out. <laughs> and it's in a good way. I love you too. <laughs> um, but um, it's it was a lot. So the other night, I... You know, we talked about a lot in the Q&A, and I know some things bother me, but my mom had to catch me. And it's because of my mom that you guys in the Telegram chat where I told you guys to leave things alone, my mom said, cut it. My mom said, leave it alone, because my mom had to, don't let this one fool you, okay? <laughs> don't let this one fool I'm loud and crazy, but there's a reason I am who I am now, because my mom has had to, ah, <laughs> get, it, get it together. And... That's what had to happen the other day. And my mom was like, check your damn out of the Like, <laughs> and I'm like, okay. I didn't check it right away, but it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> she had to catch me a few times. And I was ready to go off on the person who tried to ask us for a mask in the hotel. He had to tell me to leave him alone because I stopped and just just stared at him like do you really want to go with me right now if i had a shirt that said fucking fight me on it <laughs> it would have been so obvious i was staring at him like say one more thing go ahead i dare you i just stared at him and my mom had to come in there and drag my ass out because i was and he's like leave me alone i said you do realize you talked to me right you do realize you disrespected me and my mother over an orange right right like we're coming downstairs from a fucking hotel and this stupid mask hole was, <laughs> he's the person that we, ch and he's the person that's working the hotel and he's gonna tell my mom, don't grab an orange cause you don't have a mask on. We're leaving the hotel. <laughs> and he's like, don't touch an orange. And I'm like, don't touch the orange. You, you know, when somebody like, Ladies, y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. When well, you just have had enough and you're on your period and you're like, one more fucking thing. <laughs> Say one more damn thing. Like I was at that point and it wasn't even my period. I was just ready to choke his ass out. Like everything that I've ever went through started going through my mind. And I was like, say one more thing. <laughs> one more time. Go ahead. And he stared at me and was like, leave me alone. Cause I think he saw the, I think he saw Satan's bride, like in my eyes. And he was like, <laughs> he said, leave me alone. I said, you do realize you mess with me, right? And my mom had to drag me <laughs> out of the room. You know, when somebody fucks something up and you're just like, you put the cap on the toothpaste. Like I, I was at that point where <laughs> I was losing my shit. Like, 
everybody is, you know, I don't have an issue with being shared, okay? I don't have an issue, please. Of course, like, I'm viral, duh. My face is everywhere. I can't open my phone without my face popping up, and it's creepy, and it makes me cry and throw up and wanna run and scream. I am not the type of person, this is not me. This is not what I did, this is not on purpose. This happened on accident, okay? Um, and now I'm worldwide and it is still not something that I was trying to do. I'm still over here like this is my story and I keep running trying to give it to you guys. Like I was at this point where the other night when I woke up from my nightmares, I was ready to fight everybody else again. Like, and somebody texted me and I, I, remember I had texted, I was talking to Shannon, I was talking to angels and you know, everybody's like, hey, pray. And I, I'm telling you right now, like, that's why I say God is not done with me yet. That's why there's every walk of life on my page, I understand, because I was at that point where I was like, pray? You want me to pray? And then I went off on him. And I was like, look, your heavenly behind is not doing anything either. I am at one point done with you too. Where are you? Like, <laughs> I, I was at a point where I was like, don't talk to me. If you're not going to talk to nobody, don't talk to me. You're not doing something. Do something. Like, I, if I could have thrown a shoe all the way up in heaven, I was on that way. I was at that point, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> I was pissed. Like, <laughs> I was pissed. And my mom was like, you need to breathe. And I'm like, it's his fault too. Like, I was, I was at that point where everybody, <laughs> everybody could get some. Like, everybody, like even a big dude. I was at that point. Like, <laughs> I was like, where are you? Like, you think this is funny? You think this is funny? Don't talk to me. I'm not talking to you. I'm just not. And then right after that, we're at a moment where I was like, Bleh. and in the bathroom, if, if God could see like throwing a tantrum, I was at that point and I was like, I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you either. Cause you're not listening to me. Like, <laughs> and right after that, I kid you not, everyone jumped on telegram and started reading from the Bible for me. Then I was like, oh, you funny. Oh, you think you funny. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Whatever. Like, <laughs> like it's, I, I'm at the, I, I'm that person, okay? God is not done with me yet. I keep saying that because clearly, um, and I was ready to give up on him too because I, we got intel, we got phone calls. Everybody's like, you're, you're on the Clinton's radar. You're this, you're that, you're this. And I'm like, we are on our way to try to get a damn sandwich. What did we do? We didn't touch anything. Like, <laughs> I didn't touch anything. Like, we haven't said anything. I haven't touched a social media platform. Like, what are you talking about? And I swear to you, I had a moment outside of that sandwich shop. Like, the second that guy gave me the sandwich, I put the sandwich down. <laughs> and I go running out the store, and I had a whole damn breakdown. And I called one of the angels and they're like, okay, there's only so much that is in our control right now. We're gonna, this one, we're probably gonna have to let go. And I was like, no, like, <laughs> that's it. Like, and, and then, you know, that angel is very close to mom and they kind of sounded like sometimes, which is really scary. And, <laughs> and um, that's when my mom was like, cut it, you're done. Like no no leave it leave it <laughs> I'm like fine but I had a moment I had a serious moment and I had a breakdown and literally I was like I'm done talking to God I'm done and it was God has this funny sense of humor because he was like fine you don't have to talk to me I'll get everybody else to talk to me for you cool go lay down like <laughs> go take a time out you're done and <laughs> I I I was not even on Telegram. I saw a voice chat come up. I didn't ask for prayer. We did not ask for prayer. Mom didn't ask for prayer. We were dealing with things like left and right. So it wasn't us. And then all of a sudden, everybody jumps on Telegram and starts reading from the Bible for us. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> whatever like you know and it clearly i 
y'all I have been very damn strong but there's a time where I break not break but bend um it was like I feel like I'm 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 I I I can't do anything right everybody is like it's your fault for this I have survivors that's like it's your fault I'm still in I have people who are like <laughs> It's your fault that this, it's your fault that that, like nobody is ever at fault for what they did. And I don't know, I just, I had a, I can smile, I can clown, I can be like, hey, I got it. But there's only so many times where this clown doesn't come across so strong. <laughs> and usually I can hold my shit, but I couldn't. And one of the angels called me, I think it's Lois Lane called me and she's like, in the middle of something and I'm in something big and good and happy and she's on the phone with me like you're good and I'm like <laughs> I was like I can't even lie to you right now <laughs> and try to fake a smile and swear up and down it's fine I gotta fix it whatever I can't do it right now and then everybody started praying for us and it was it I, I'm kidding, I'm not kidding you when I say I stayed for the first time, like I stayed in one space <laughs> for hours by myself and didn't move. Just like, <laughs> no phone, no nothing. I just needed a minute and I was like, we could just disappear right now. We could just disappear. And I'm like, no, we can't do that shit. We can't do that shit because there's people that count on us and then we can't do that shit because there's people that's texting me like, hey, you're not giving up, we gotta save the children. <laughs> we are here for you I may be overseas and I never met you before but we're saving the children like <laughs> and thank you guys for that because you really did got you did catch me you did catch me I was at a point where I was like heaven don't sound so bad like <laughs> I was like Jesus clearly got a farm and my chickens are on it like <laughs> Frankie and Giblet are somewhere up there and I'm over it I'm not kidding. And then all of a sudden, the angels brought over babies and <laughs> they brought Play Doh. Never underestimate the power of Play Doh. <laughs> no, no, don't you ever underestimate the power of Play Doh because I got, I got Play Doh scissors. And, and a roller and a happy face stamper. Look at this. Look at this. And eat at this. <laughs> <laughs> I needed this. You have no idea. <laughs> they were like, you can just get some frustration out. Just pound the shit on the plate. <laughs> I can't go dance. So Play-Doh is the next one. They brought me every single color of Play-Doh. I have a whole box. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't say thank you enough because y'all don't understand the shit that we go through when this camera's off. Like, I'm not going to cry, but you really don't. And I'm, I try so hard. Like, oh, whatever. It don't bother me. It always does. Well, we always got to roll with the punches, but it don't even feel like punches anymore. Like these are some damn people are just bloat. Like it's not, it's not even like I'm telling you, I'm going to put up just a snippet of that, that, um, if you've never seen American Ninja Warrior, just that wall where you try to walk past and those, those punches that just like try to push you off. And like, you think that it's not going to go and all of a sudden, whack, like <laughs> that's how I feel. And my face is floating around the world. There's people who want to kill me. There's people who in my inbox talk about raping me 24 seven and doing what they did before. My pimps are standing by smiling at this video right now and still jacking off for my pictures. Like my porn videos are still crazy and probably becoming more of a mess now because people know my face and people want to kill me much more. So I'm pretty sure the porn videos that are up are still like high members and you got to pay bad money for those. And it bugs me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm fucking human. <laughs> I 
can't do anything about it. There's nobody that's fixing it. People are still very complacent. And it's like, all right, I have been the most naked, most vulnerable, honest that I've ever been in my entire life. And I, at one point I felt like, what now? <laughs> I've even showed some of the angels my deepest, darkest secrets. And I still feel like, what now? But the problem is, not the problem, the best thing is, is that we're not alone. There's angels that have walked in the door and that are crying like, what can we do? Like, we're here. I don't know what else to do. And I'm like, you, were, you saved our lives. You are doing the most more than anybody you have stopped dropped and didn't even roll they have tumbled flipped fell the hell over bruised <laughs> banged their knees their arms their elbows family all messed up dogs and fur babies all tripping and everything and they still i'm on my way and i'm bringing plane on. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much because seriously, I got nothing. I got nothing else. I was at a point where I was like, literally, I have nothing else. I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to do. There's not that much money in the world to keep moving like this we don't have it like that and we are not asking because the second you put money on the message of the children the whole message is gone so we roll with it I don't know I don't know what else to do but I that's, this is all I got <laughs> I don't, I don't, it's just all I got. I'm being honest with y'all. This is all I got. I don't know. I don't know. We can't do anything more, but be honest. My babies went to dance yesterday and I, I don't want to cry when I say this, but because <laughs> somebody might scream record this part to get to them. So hold on, let me clear my face before you scream this. <laughs> I watched, I was sent some dance competitions yesterday. I was able to watch a lot of my babies go to comp and I and Miss Allie is so proud of you. So, so proud of you. Some of them didn't even have to wear a mask. It was nice because you could see their faces. I'm so proud of you. I heard some of you took first place. I heard the platinums that came through. I was moving. And I, the cameras were buffering. I was on the phone like, hey, somebody go get them because the live is not working. I'm seeing a child in a blue costume, in a blue gypsy costume, doing coffee grinders and Alice Combs, which is abuse, by the way, to Friend Like Me by Will Smith. And if it was a mashup, I still didn't know because my camera was going out, but it was still good. She was beautiful. But I was like, listen, I'm not seeing my kids. <laughs> and it was nice to see them, but it 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 took it took me a minute because... Some of them wanted to call and I'm so sorry that I didn't pick up, but I couldn't, I couldn't do it yesterday. And y'all never hear me say that. You know, I, I felt like, I felt like a horrible person because I'm like over here juggling. Like I was at like two, three different competitions and I'm over here. Like somebody is up over here, but somebody's up over there. My camera's messing up. So I'm going over to this baby. Like, and I was really trying. And then Miss Allie had a moment. And y'all know that Miss Allie will move heaven and hell to be there for you. But I had a moment and then some people tried to call me and I couldn't pick up. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to be honest with you and tell you why because I can't lie to your kids. I can't lie to your kids. I've never lied to your kids. So I can't lie to your kids. I'm sorry. I can't play and be like, Miss Allie's on vacation. Miss Allie is not on vacation. I can't lie to my special needs kids. And a part of me can't even get on the phone because I don't want to cry.
The lies need to stop. People are cushioning adults for the truth. And the lies need to stop. So I'm so sorry I didn't pick up. But I can't lie to the kids anymore. <laughs> My kids know when I'm not telling them the truth. My kids know when I'm bullshitting. My kids know when I'm like, <laughs> and they're like, Miss Ali, what you really doing? Like, I can't tell you till I get back. This is not one of those situations where I can tell them when I can get back. So you got to tell them. <laughs> I was there. I watched the comps. I saw them scorpions, y'all. I saw them ponches to the dance squads. I just couldn't pick up. Um, and I, 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 I'm, I'm strong, but there's some points where I can't do this no more. <laughs> I was, and I was at that point and people were texting me and thank God people texted me. Cause there was a lot of people that texted me. It was like, you are not giving up. So I'm not right about you. <laughs> this is not one of those you just not getting on something's not right about you and y'all caught it <laughs> I'm trying but I feel like when I'm not on telegram and there's a voice chat going on that I'm not catching a victim that thinks that if I walk into this telegram room right now I might be able to get out and then all of a sudden they're having a conversation about something that I don't want to have a conversation about Allie's not there what you used to call me, Tashina's not there. <laughs> it's because we're dealing with like five more situations at once. I'm just being honest. I am trying this shit is not easy reopening your wounds are not easy just think about it like if you have a scab and if you try to pick it right now it still hurts I don't know what it would take I saw people are saying that back in Huntington Beach in California BLM Antifa people are fighting on the streets in broad daylight. <laughs> Los Angeles people are back to the riots. The Black Panthers are now out. Kids were saved, mass weapons, drugs, and all kind of things on the trafficking in the evergreen containers. We've called so much stuff and it's like, People keep messaging me like, you said that was going to happen. Yep. But I'm not a medium or a psychic because guess what? I'm not that, but I don't know if I, we might tell you at the world party. I might tell you in the movie. I don't know, but <laughs> might come out in the book. Um, get a lot of intel. I'm trained very well. Yeah, there's no movie or book or anything by the way just no for you tens. i'm joking but you tens can take what you <laughs> will with that <laughs> yeah go ahead um but I, I am trained very well i do have gifts and abilities that i can't stand don't want them for shit wish to god I didn't have them and the only reason why is because if anybody finds out they want to experiment on you <laughs> if I was a medium or a psychic I could have seen this shit coming right you should ask your medium and psychics like they have shit going on and it's like how come you didn't see that coming if you're a medium and if you could see into the future how come you didn't see that shit coming like you didn't know somebody was going to use your identity. You didn't know that somebody was going to try to hurt you. No, I thought you were a psychic. That's not what it is. That's not what it is. 
but it sucks kind of close to that. There are people, truth tellers, how, I'm, I'm going to go off on a rant, so just stay with me, okay? Flow with me. How the fuck <laughs> is it that I can't make one video, barely make one video, barely make two videos, barely make a few videos, and there's something wrong every few seconds? Tell me how somebody can write a book, can have children, can do podcasts from their com comfort of the same place and not have to move, speak out for more than years, have some type of expose or something on very high and mighty people that should have shut they shit down in two seconds. The way they keep trying to do me every time I talk. And then all of a sudden they got problems like me. All of a sudden we gonna mimic the stories like me. All of a sudden they're being poisoned like me. All of a sudden they're being slammed like me, how come they weren't getting slammed back when they were exposing shit? How come they weren't getting slammed when they had a book out? How come they weren't getting slammed when they had this moment where they were speaking out before me? Now all of a sudden that my story's going viral, there's somebody that's gonna try to mimic my shit? Watch them. <laughs> Watch that character, it speaks for itself. Watch that character, it speaks for itself. How the hell do you, I never, ever made an expose or something trying to expose somebody. I can barely drop names without trolls, witches, ex-pimps, elite, police of all fucking kinds, brotherhood from every state, trolls and all kind of vicious ass people just stalking and harassing you're a liar shut up you're gonna get people killed i got victims coming out of left and right begging for help porn stars that are trying to get out of the life people flocking to us we didn't ask them to be here no one twisted anybody's arm and i didn't request you you requested me but you got these other people who have been speaking for years Put two and two together. Come on. But all of a sudden, my story is their story. I call bullshit. Bullshit. I smell bullshit. Watch their character. Watch it. Because if that was the case, your ass should have got slammed, killed, and everything else a long fucking time ago. The first time you said it. Like me. I got slammed since I started talking. I can't say shit. We got celebrities. We got filmmakers. We got people who are journalists. We got people that flock to us. Let's do an interview. Let's talk about it. I shut them down because I'm like, hold up, wait a minute. If you're still there in a second, yes, I'll get to you. But I'm not about to jump on whoever says they got it, they got enough to share the story. I'm not about to jump on anybody with a wallet. I'm not about to into anybody with a blue check mark. Fuck you. Where were you? If you're still there, when I call on you, let's do it. But if not, no. I don't have nothing bad to say about you. I don't fucking know you. But if you still want to talk, if you still want to make a this, if you still, I got people that's like, I'll waive the book edit. I'll waive all of the publishing fees. Let me write your book. Come on, let's make a movie. Are you going to get me out of this shit when you make that movie? Are we just making that movie for your billboard? Because in a minute, when I go worldwide, we won't be able to walk out the door without people knowing who the fuck we are. I'm black. My, my parents, my mom and my grandma are white. Again. For the new people. We look identical, <laughs> huh? Squeeze over here so IG can see you. I know we look identical. But in a minute, we're going to stick out like a sore thumb. With Candace Owens, Sydney Powell, Diamond Silk, Clay Clark, Charlie Ward, Simon Parks that have information of mine and not want to talk. That's great. I want to talk to them too. If you want to talk, I'll talk to you. My email is a l l y and Shelly. A l l y and Shelly22 at gmail.com. I'll put it in these comments and pin it. And I'll put it in my bio.
if I can't find a time to talk to you, hopefully you're still around when you want to talk. But that's it. That's all I got. I, I literally got nothing else. We don't have it like that to call time. We don't have it like that to say I can talk to you. Um, okay, can somebody put my email in the comments, please? Because now all of a sudden it won't let me pin it. So can somebody help me out so I can pin that? Allie and Shelly22 at gmail.com. Um, well, let me post my own comment. Okay, thank you so much, B. Um, I'll, I'll talk to you. I will. If that means that I'm very grateful, I'm always grateful for another opportunity to share this, share my story, the truth, and nothing but the truth, the only truth, not elaborated, not added in, not something taken from, no, my truth. Thank you, Leah. My truth. That's it. Um, I'm always grateful for that. I would thank you. I mean, if that's all you got is an amazing platform for me to be able to share, thank you. If you don't have an amazing platform for me to share, but you have something to help me, thank you. We don't we don't have anything else. We still pay rent for a home we can't be in because there's people watching it. We can tell you when somebody drives by it. We can tell you what color car they in, what color clothes they got got, got on, how tall they are when they jump out the car. We got people watching the watchers that's watching our house. Can't do anything about it though. The popo won't do anything. Remember, they came to the house and they said, "If you you got to go back to the videos. I added thousands of people here. So if you're new here." You don't know what a 90 is, you're gonna have to go back. 100% of the world knows what's going on. 90% is the family, that's the 90s. I'm not a celebrity, I'm not anybody special. Don't try to call me a celebrity, you'll piss me off. Nobody's my fan and nobody's my follower. They are 90, they family. 50 ain't nifty, don't be on both sides. It's ugly, it's stupid, it's really reckless. And tens, nobody wants to be an asshole. Don't be an asshole. Tens are the ones who would rather put their mask on, put their head back in the sand and Bible thumping religions that don't give a shit, but would rather just give it to God. I'm not gonna do anything about it, just give it to God. That's like those people who stand by with the camera, see somebody getting their ass beat and like, you okay? I got it all on camera. Short explanation. Please go back. <laughs> Welcome. There's religions, walks of life here from all over the world. Nobody pushes their shit on anybody. The only thing that matters is the message of the children. Oh, sorry. Unpin. Uh, Allie and Shelly22 at gmail.com. The pin email is incorrect. Sorry. Thank you for catching that. Allie and Shelly22 at gmail.com. Got it. All right. Thank you. Is that one correct? Yes. All right. Yeah, it's my truth. That's what I got today. It was a really rough few days for me. And if you only knew the truth. Um, but we gon' we gonna go back at it. I even got some messages this morning that's like, you give me hope, please don't give up. I felt like I was on the, the ropes and I was like, <laughs> I just needed a minute. I'm paying attention to these trolls. These tens don't need credit. We all know they're pimps and pedophiles. Call them what they are. They're pimps, pedophiles, and perverts. And some of these are parents. That's the saddest one. Is when you find out who's behind these keyboards, which we have a lot of information. We have some people who do multiple jobs. So even though you think that nobody knows who's behind the keyboard, oh, we know. We know. We just need to get all the information that we need before we say something. Ain't that right, Cheryl? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that right, Cheryl? Um, thank you for those who jumped on I even knew we had some queens in the room <sighs> and when I say queens I don't mean like queen I mean drag queens that live two separate lives that live their lives 
you know, not pushing their agenda on people, but just seeing who they want to be. I've been in that place where I just loved who I love. Nobody is, nobody pushes that. It's something else going on with the agenda and it creates the, the people that are, the people that um, is, is innocent and is just trying to show their feelings. It puts them in a bad perspective because they're like, this is just me. I'm not trying to do anything extra to this. They are. So we had drag queens that came into the telegram room and opened up the same Bible as everybody else and started reading from the Bible and learned a lot. Grew up in the church, just left the church, an atheist. A lot of your homosexuals, a lot of your drag queens, a lot of um, people that society looks down on were raised in church and they turned and you need to ask why. That's the main question that needs to be asked. What happened to them that they turned? Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times the church fucked them up. Mm -hmm. The family that we have, people don't even speak English sometimes. <laughs> you got so many states and people who are like, hey, do you think we can convert the videos? Because hashtag Ali's Army is all I got. <laughs> and I don't know how to convert my videos to your language, but thanks for trying to listen. Getting the gist of it. <laughs> thanks for being here. I can't thank you enough. I don't know how my story is reaching parts of the world. I have no clue. I don't know how my story reached Serbia and Haiti. I have no clue. I really don't. So thank you. <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, we're going to try a very intense Q&A again later. Um, we have thousands and thousands of people on here now. Um, we just added a few thousand. Um, if you have sent me something and you know who I'm talking to, I'll be messaging you in a little bit just to say thank you. I'm so sorry that it's taken me so long to say thank you for helping us. Um, shit is just wild. <laughs> and I'm trying. Um, but you have no idea. I wish that I want to just feed everybody to thank you because I feel like everybody's way to their heart straight through that stomach no matter what kind of food you eat <laughs> so one day the world party i'm cooking <laughs> we're gonna be a little busy but we food prepping the night before so <laughs> um that world party is happening that's something that's happening but for the tens we tell them you know because they believe every and anything and they're so they're a little touched so we tell them that it's going to be at the sewage plant and they definitely believe it. Grandma's already said there's going to be free drinks, but the real world party will we'll let, <laughs> you, let know. you know. We'll let you know where the 90s classified. will be at. It's classified information. Only the 90s will be getting the invite. The block list is longer than the 90 list. It's really sad. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, I'm just kidding. The 90s list is way longer than the, the, the 10s list. So. The 10s will have a very close party. Sure, they'll have fun with each other. <laughs> There's no loyalty there, though, so I'm pretty sure there'll be a fight that breaks out. Totally BLM Antifa, but... Whew. I love you guys. Um, oh, we cooking up. Somebody said, let's cook up a storm. Oh! <laughs> it's gonna be a whole storm. <laughs> we'll have a table of food from every country. Oh, my gosh! I was every just thinking that. <laughs> like... I swear, like, Grandma can make, ooh, some Chinese food, and then I could get some crawfish, and we could really make that real good. And then, oh, the American food. <laughs> but I'm going to need my South Africans to come through and help me put something new in the kitchen. I know everybody got a plate from somewhere. We should. We should do, like, a universal world party of food. Great. People going to be falling asleep with the itis kicking in. Just <laughs> 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 oh man oh a slovak kitchen so delish okay slovakian kitchen <laughs> oh, spanish food i know right ah we love some spanish food so because cajun food up in there some india food yes ah india food so yeah we'll, we'll eventually eventually on the other side of this that's what i look forward to that's i think that's what we all looking forward to at the end of this we gonna have the biggest world party ever we have to meet one day 
Someone said, I got the Filipino food. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm holding you to that, P. <laughs> um, but, and some people were like, do I have to ask for permission? No, you don't have to ask for permission to share my stuff. I mean, I don't think anybody's asking for permission to share me around the world. The, the problem was when you're, uh, there's some people that have platforms that added information that just for their platform and just they, for their platform they took somebody else's stuff and tweaked it to their own and then added some stuff on there that and then they true. were making people pay to get in to watch the video that wasn't mine that was theirs it wasn't the video that came from jared james and and by the way if y'all could do me a favor if everybody that is on my page can share the video of jared james i want the real interview out so can everybody do me that favor and go find Jared James's page. I'll tag him in my story again, Life by Jared James. My interview is on my Patriots network. If y'all could do me a favor, y'all want to share some today? Everybody, please share the real interview, my real story. And um, I'm down for an interview in a little bit. I just had to get my shit together. And we have, I had to get all my shit together, like all of it, <laughs> everything. And my mom was, if they don't get me, my mama gonna get me. That's what's gonna happen. Like she was like, get her to go. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> I was still like, whatever, talking shit from afar. <laughs> I don't talk shit up close. She got softball hands. <laughs> Don't let this white inside out Oreo fool you. <laughs> she a thug. She a true thug. Just because she quiet. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> she mama bear for a reason. You don't hear her go off for a reason. It takes a lot. But I know where my gray hairs are. I can tell you where they are. <laughs> I'm on the left side. The rest of that, that was my foster sisters. I didn't do that. <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> but, um. Thank you guys for everything, um, for everything. Um, everybody has like even sent me like, do something with your hair. <laughs> Thanks. It's working her. on it. It's her. <laughs> We're working on it. We, we, we can't even get to a store. We can't even first sit can't still. Find a store. It, then first, we can, music can't get to it. So we're, then it, we don't it takes have the, a while. We don't have the time <laughs> to get anywhere to take a shower, let alone wash my hair to do something with it. <laughs> so. My mom's gonna break my hair in a little bit, yeah. We're gonna try to find a store. And um I'm gonna tell her I'm gonna do something with this. Maybe I could go back to normal. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Throw it out. I tried. I tried. I've been waiting for She's it. yeah, she really wants me to because my hair is like and I mm -mm. I have no patience. None. None. None whatsoever like once my hand goes over my head for too long i'm over it like nope and my afro is a whole other thing i might even post that picture it's like no no <laughs> i'm natural aphrodisiac by the head like it's really bad i can barely get a comb and then one form of sweat or moisture and it's <gasps> like it's really bad so yeah that's gonna take a while if I come on here with my natural hair, all held and broke loose. That's that'll tell you right <laughs> there. I'm done. It yep. If I come on here with my natural natural hair, just not even braid it, y'all will be like, somebody better do something. <laughs> it's, call, for help. call for help. Send help now. <laughs> it's a signal. <laughs> She's done. <laughs> it's official. <laughs> uh, I have no patience, none. You you would be surprised what I have patience with. I'm telling you right now, trying to get a comb through this hair after water is no joke. After sweat is no joke. Like, I, mm -mm. if you ever come to kick it, I'll hook your hair up. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm weird about my hair doctors, you know. <laughs> But I trust y'all to let you do my hair. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, we're going to go and get some showers and get into some business things today. And um, again, thank you guys for everything. And um, yeah, I'm going to 
I'm gonna see if my 90s, my angels that sent me Play Doh will come back over. <laughs> I'm <gonna> play. <laughs> We're gonna play. Look, I even made. Look at that. You see that? I played last night. So there's a smiley face. <laughs> I used to always try to eat Play-Doh. I was never allowed to play with it. That, and I, I used to get in a lot of fights. So I put Play-Doh sand and hubba bubba in a little girl's hair one time because she pissed me off. She tried to take my boyfriend when I was like five. Long story. Anyways. <laughs> I told you I've changed. So <laughs> we're going to go. Um, we love you guys. Thank you. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You have no idea. You have no idea how much you guys mean to us all over this world. So thank you. And I'm going to, do I got crushed on my nose? Y'all don't want to tell me? Because you know somebody going to make an account about it. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> friends don't let friends have crust. All this crying and stuff. And now I got a dried booger under there. So I'm going to go make a whole account about that. Anyways, I love you guys. <laughs> and, um, yeah, mom, you got anything? No. Thank you guys so much. You don't realize how much your prayers and, um, for a lot of survivors, there's sometimes they don't, they can't pray for themselves. Um, they don't know what to pray. There's times there's a lot of times when I don't even know what to pray. Like, you know, all these things are coming at you. You just don't even know which way to go with that. So um, for you guys that read the Bible last night and prayed on our behalf, thank you so much. And, uh, yeah, we even still have mom texting. There, People are still messaging mom. At least they're talking to her this time. If you're a witch and you just want to talk to her, and you just want to ask her and tell her how you feel, tell her how you feel. I mean, she's going to block you after, definitely. But <laughs> maybe not. Pretty patient. Maybe not. Actually, my mom is too damn patient. Actually, she's really patient. Sometimes it gets on my nerves. It's probably me that blocks you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't usually block people. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. You say something stupid to my mama and she's going to tell me. And then she's going to be like, don't touch my phone. And I'll be like, no, she's leaving. <laughs> So. The thing is, the thing is, with the witches, they were trafficked and uh, tortured and abused as well when they were children. Witches don't just, most witches don't just decide, hey, I'm going to be a witch today. Um, that usually stems from somewhere. Um, that's why I'm a little bit patient with them. Um, I don't hate you witches, contrary to trending belief. <laughs> I do not hate witches. I don't think I've ever said I hate witches. If I did, I, I misspoke. Um, I don't hate you. I'm just not dealing with your bullshit. Um, don't send evil to people. Don't don't do evil on on people's behalf. Um, that's the, the gist of it. Yeah, we do make a we are a balance. I'm you know those little demons. You know those things that sit on your shoulder, the white one and the black one. I'm the black one. <laughs> or it's like the white one and the red one. I'm the red one. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> that's me. I'm that little red one. That's like that little white one that's like don't push the button. And I'm that little red one that comes in. It's like do it. <laughs> <laughs> And my mom is like, don't do it. And I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we, we got a balance going on. <laughs> literally the black one. I'm not kidding. I, yeah, literally the black one. Like, I'm those things. That's where those things that sit on your shoulder. And mom is the good side. I don't know why. I've always been the one that's like, push her off the shoulder and tell you to do something else. <laughs> If she wasn't here, I'm telling you, we this this whole situation would have went a whole other way. <laughs> you don't understand. We'd be dead a long time ago because it would have went a whole other way. I'd be like, just kill him. Like, <laughs> I'd be agreeing with the witches. Like, no. So my mama got to catch me. <laughs> I'm going to shut up before I say too much. <laughs> That's why I've changed a lot. And I love everyone. <laughs> everybody got issues I can agree with that huh monkey yes so <sighs> yeah alright well we will see you guys on telegram hopefully at a decent <laughs> time oh I knew you were going to take it that way no the, I got you <laughs> 
I got you. <laughs> I'm just joking. People can't be so offended all the time. <laughs> People just need to start wearing a name tag that says, hi, I'm offended. <laughs> yeah. Well, Shannon is the business. Give that woman some credit, please. <laughs> Shannon puts organizations to shame. This woman is going through hell and she's still catching not just me, but other survivors. <laughs> Thank you, Shannon. All right. We'll be on Telegram. We will start a Q&A on here. I'm taking old questions too. So I'm going back and I'm finding old questions that I never answered to. And then I'm taking some of the new questions for some of the new people. And when I say that there are over thousands and thousands, like you guys have seen me scroll through it of questions. So we pick a good, a good intense handful. And last time was really intense. So we'll do another intense one. What the hell ever. <laughs> I've already woken up with a swollen lip anyways. I really had a nightmare of, um, um, mom, she keeps, she does that face. Do it, do it, do it, do it, <laughs> do it. You gonna do it, do it. <laughs> um, I had a nightmare. I was taken to this place in Las Vegas in the There's warehouses. It's not a nightmare. Those Flash. are different. Yeah, those are different. Nightmares are when it's like, I'm screaming and I can't hear myself. That's a nightmare. Flashbacks, whole other problem. Flashbacks are all true, factually based things yeah. that have happened. Um, And there was this guy. I used to talk back a lot. Like, I, can you notice? Like, I have a mouth. <laughs> I have a mouth. And even my sisters used to tell me and my brothers, like, you got a big ass mouth. Shut up or you're going to get us all in trouble. And no, I was always talking back always saying something stupid so there was this one time that my pimp got mad at me so I got tied up and this dude just kept slapping me in the face like at, not like just like slapping me in the face um for talking shit so when Ali when the flashback is over she'll have face pain uh, a cut lip um, she'll be she was rubbing her wrists um, from where she was tied up um, so it's reliving that all over again um, <clears throat> yeah thankfully some of the superheroes were here that that helped um, sit with her and, and stuff so I woke up to one of the angels just like straight up catching me like I was hanging on to the headboard <laughs> yeah so yeah flashbacks suck anywho well <laughs> hell I can admit to it I had a big ass mouth I have very loose teeth and very chipped teeth from how many times I used to talk shit <laughs> and I can't see out of my left eye for that reason <laughs> I'm legally messed up in one eye <laughs> I laugh because I know I talk shit <laughs> I used to brace myself to get hit on this side of my face. Like, I used to come up to him and be like, fuck you. Hey, you gonna hit me on this side. Just hit me on this side. <laughs> it's not funny. All right. Well, well, dark humor is going a little bit sideways. I'm gonna go. <laughs> what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? One day you're gonna be able to see it. That's why I told you. One day if you see those videos... It's not what you think you're gonna see. It's not. All right. Hey, Red Wave said, hey, Grandma. I'll let her know. Grandma! He said, hey! <laughs> She's tied up in the closet. She's, 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 <laughs> just kidding. You better say you're kidding. <laughs> <laughs> then Call you the know police. everybody gonna be like, that's oh, it, I'm calling the police! They admitted it! <laughs> She's eating pork rinds in the closet. <laughs> she's in the other room. She's in the room. It's she's far. in the other room making breakfast. She really is making breakfast, I swear. There's, no, there's a lot of background noise. She really can't hear she's us. really it's a really it's a big house. <laughs> so she's up there. Okay, we're gonna go before we get ourselves in trouble. <laughs> We go make the own account for us. Right. Stop. <laughs> Say you're kidding again. I'm kidding. Are you kidding? <laughs> we don't even have rope. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> ah. We don't have duct tape, but we don't have a rope. <laughs> All we have is Play Doh scissors. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing we got. <laughs> oh, that'll give Tim something to do. Oh, man. They'll be having fun sure with that. start their week off right. Can you tell them that I tied her up with Play Doh? So <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to go. We'll see you guys on Telegram later. Tins, have fun with that. Yeah, have fun. <laughs> Knock yourself out. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> guys.